Okay, yesterday we looked at the fact that percentage means out of 100. So I need to keep that in there for today. So let's say that we are sharing some sweets, okay? What kind of sweets would you like those to be? So I've decided that I'm going to have millions because they're really nice and tasty and they're really small and fun. So I'm going to have millions, but you can have whatever sweets is that you would like. So it doesn't matter for the moment how many of those sweets you have got. We'll come to that in a moment. But if we want to find a percentage of an amount, we're looking for a fraction, a section, a part of that amount. Now, if you wanted to find 50% of your sweets, how would you find that? How would you find 50%? Well, hopefully you've remembered from yesterday that 50% is the same as a half. So if we want to find 50% of something, we want to find half of it. How do we find half? Well, we divide by two. So let's say you had 10 sweets and I want you to find 50% of those sweets. I want you to find 50% of 10. I want you to find half of 10. And to do that, you divide by two. 10 divided by two is five. So 50% of 10 is five. Right. This time you're going to have 200 sweets and I want you to find 50% of 200. So to find 50%, we need to half it. We need to divide by two. So half of 200 is 100. For my next one, I want you to now find 25% of your sweets. Hopefully you remember from yesterday that 25% is the same as a quarter. And to find a quarter of something, we divide by four. So if I said to you, I want you to find 25% of 40. I want you to find a quarter of 40. And to find a quarter, we divide by four. So to find 25%, we divide by four. 40 divided by four is 10. What about then if I wanted you to find 10% and hopefully you're starting to see a little bit of a pattern here. So if I want to find 10%, that's the same as a tenth because that is a tenth of a hundred. And if I want to find a tenth of something, I divide by 10. I split it into 10 parts. So if I wanted to find a tenth of 500, I would do 500 divided by 10, which is 50. And for this one, if I want to find 1% of something, what do I do to 100 to get to 1? I divide it by 100. 1% 1 is the same as 1 hundredth, which means to find it, I need to divide by 100. So if I had 600 sweets and I wanted to find 1%, I would do 600 divided by 100, which would be 6. Now, we can use these percentages. We can combine them. We can add them. We can take them away to work out any other percentage. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So this time you've got 400 of your sweets. So I've changed from millions now because I couldn't draw millions. So I've gone for like a chocolate eclair type sweet. So I've got 400 of these sweets and I want to work out, I'm going to go for 30%. I want to work out what 30% of my 400 sweets are. So the way I will do it is I always start with 100% because that shows me what I'm starting with. If I had 100% of my 400 sweets, I'd have how many sweets? 400. Right, now I'm going to work out all these different percentages and hopefully you'll start to see how you can use these to create any other percentage. So what do I do to get from 100 to 50? Well, I divide by two because 50% is a half of 100 and to find a half, we divide by two. So to find what half of 400 is, to find what 50% of 400 is, I also divide it by two, which would be 200. To find out 10% then, I would go from 100 to 10, I would divide by 10 because 10% 10 is the same as one tenth of 100. And to work out a tenth, I divide by 10. So how do I work out 10% of 400? I divide by 10, which would be 40. And the last one, which I have to go for in orange again. How do I get from 100% to 1%? Well, I divide by 100 because 1% 1 is the same as 1 hundredth. And to find out 100th, we divide by 100. So what would 1% 1 of 400 be? It would just be 4. Now, I can use these percentage facts to work out every other percentage that I wanted to. So I wanted to work out 
30%. That was my question. I wanted to work out 30%. Now, how can I use these numbers to make 30? Well, there's several different ways that I could do this, really. I'm just going to rub this out so I've got a little bit more room on my board. And I'm going to draw a little box around this. So I remember these are my key facts that I'm using. So what I could do to make 30 is I could start at 100. I could take away 50, which get me to 50. Take away 10, take away 10. That would get me to 30. I could start at 1, times it by 30. I could do 10%, add 10%, add 10%. That would get me to 30%. I could do 50%, take away 10%, take away 10%. I could start at 100 and take away 70 lots of 1%. I could start at 50 and take away 20% using 1%. There's so many different ways that you can do it. But this is where you need to start thinking about what's the most efficient way. Now, some people will always prefer to work out 1% and multiply it to get 30. So, you, for example, you would times by 30 in this example. For me, I always like working with 10%, and that's just my personal preference. You might want to do this a different way. So I'm going, I know that 10%, and you can either add 10% and add 10% again, or a quick way of doing this would be to do 10% times by 3. I know that either of those would get me 30%. Now, 10% is 40 sweets, and I'm going to draw sweets here so I don't get confused. So, 10% is 40 sweets. That's my little sweets. Add 40 sweets, because I'm adding another 10%. Add another ooh, 40 sweets, because that's also 10%. 40, add 40, add 40 is 120 sweets. So, that's one way... I could work out this answer. Second way, I could do 10% times 3. Now, 10% is 40 sweets, so I'm going to do 40 times by 3, which is 120. Same answer. Now, to prove that this is correct, I'm going to try it a different way. So this time I'm going to start at 50%, and I'm going to take away 10%, and I'm going to take away 10%, because 50 take away 10 take away 10 would get me to 30. So, 50% was 200, so always remember to put the numbers in, so that's 200, take away 10, or well, 10 is 40, take away another 10%, which is also 40, so 200 take away 40 is 160, take away another 40 is 120 sweets. The third way you could prove this, and like I said, there's loads of ways you can do this, it's all about what you are comfortable with, is you could do 1%, and you could times it by 30. Well, 1% is 4 sweets. So I'm going to do 4 times by 30. Well, 4 times 3 is 12. Times by 10 is 120. So I'm getting the same answer every time. And I'm using these percentages here. Okay, question number two. I want to work out 21% of 600 books. 21% of 600 books. So if you want to pause the video and have a go yourself, you can do, or you can just have a go along with me. So if I'm looking for 21% of 600 books, 100% of the books would be 600. And if you want to draw a little book there to help you remember which one's percentage and which one's is the noun, that's absolutely fine. Right. Now, I've written all these percentages down here. Now, I've written these ones down, not 30% or 8%, because these are all ones you can find really easily by dividing from 100%. So we divide by 2 to get to 50, divide by 4 to get to 25, divide by 10 to get to 10%, and divide by 100 to get to 1%. And then with all of these, you can create every other percentage that you need to. However, every time when you look at these, you might not need to use every single one. So, for example, in this one, I'm looking for 21%. So, if I'm looking for 21%, what's the most efficient way I could do this? Well, I could do 1% and times it by 21. That might be quite tricky, though, because whatever 1% is, I've got to multiply by 21. I could do 10% times 2, which would be 20%, and then add the 1%. That seems okay. I could work out 25% and then take away 1%, take away 1%, take away 1%, take away 1%. That's quite a lot of taking away. I might make a bit of a mistake. For none of these really, 
50% is not really the most efficient option. So for this, I'm not going to work out 50%. For me, like I said earlier, I like to work with 10%. So I'm not even going to work out 25% this time. I'm just going to work out 10% and 1%. And then I'm going to do 10% add 10% or times by 2. And then I'm going to add 1%. Okay, that because that makes 10, 20, 21. That makes my 21%. So let's work this out then. So to work out 10%, I divide by 10 because it's a tenth of 100. So if I divide this side by 10, I divide this side by 10. 600 divided by 10 is 60 books. Oh, that doesn't really look like a book. That looks like a window. <laughs> now I want to work out 1%. So I can either divide this by 100 or I can divide 10% by 10. Okay, you do it either way. So you could work out 100% divide by 100, or you could start at 10% and divide by 10. Either way, if you divided this 600 by 100, you would get 6. If you divided 60 by 10, you would also get 6. So 1% is 6 books. So now I need to try and use these to make 21%. Well, 10% is 60. So that's 60 books add 60 books. Add 1%, 1% is 6, so this is going to be 126 books. Right, for my next problem, I'm going to just do a different percentage, but I'm keeping the total the same, because I want you to see how you can use these numbers, these percentages, to work out any percentage. So, this time I want to work out 62% of 600. So, 100% stays the same, 10% stays the same, and 1% stays the same. Now, if I want to do 62%, I could do 10% times 6 to get 60, add 1%, add 1%. But I want to try and go with 50%, because I think that's going to help me. Why would that help me? How could I get 62% using 50%? Well, I could do 50%, and I can add my 10%. And then I can add 1%, add 1%. That's going to be 50, 60, 61, 62. So I need to work out 50%. To work out 50%, what do I do to get from 100 to 50? I divide by 2 because 50% is the same as a half. So I divide by 2. 600 divided by 2 is 300. So 50% is 300 books. Add 10%, or well, 10% is 60. Add 1%, well, 1% was 6. Add another 1%, also 6. So 360, add 6, add 6. 6 add 6 is 12. So it would be 372 books. Don't forget your noun at the end. Okay, time for you to have a go. So this time we've got 8,400 flowers. We've got some flowers. We've got 8,400 so down the left-hand side, I've written all my percentages that I can find really, really easily. And then down the right-hand side, I've written three percentages that I want you to find. So I want you to find 63% of 8,400, 24% of 8,400, and 99% of 8,400. So think about all the percentages you've got on the left-hand side. What's the most efficient way to use those to create the other percentages? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, so to work this out, first of all, I'm just going to work all of these out because I think I'm probably going to need them at some point to work all of these out. But normally I would say look at your percentage and see which ones you're going to need. So 100% of 8,400 is obviously 8,400. 50% we divide by 2, so that's 4,000. 200. 25% we divide by 4, or we can also divide this by 2, which would be 2,100. 10% we divide 100% by 10, so it would be 840 flowers. And 1% we divide 100% by 100, so it would be 84 flowers. Right, now we've done that, let's make these percentages. So for 63%, I'm going to go for 50%. I'm going to add 10% and then I'm going to add 1%, add 1%, ooh, just got room, add 1%. You might have done it a different way and that's okay. So 50% was 4,200. Then I'm going to add 10%, which is 840. And then I'm going to add 84, add 84, add 84. Right, I can't do this one in my head, so you might want to do this one as a column method. 
So I've done it in one long column method, but you could have done it a few at a time if you wanted to. So 0 add 0, add 4, add 4, add 4 is 12. Leave the 2, rename your 1. 4 add 8, add 8, add 8. Well, it's 8, 16, 24, 28. Add 1, 29. Leave your 9, rename your 2. 2 add 8 is 10. Add 2 is 12. So leave your 2, rename your 1. 4 add 1 is 5. So 5,292. So my answer for the first one should be 5,292 flowers. Right, next one then, 24%. Well, I'm going to do 25%. I'm going to take away 1%. Well, 25% is 2,100. And I'm taking away 1%, which is 84. So I was going to do this down here quickly. Do a nice column method. Oh, lots of renaming. That would be 9, that would be 10, so it would be 6. 9 take away 8 would be 1. 0 take away nothing would be 0, and 2 take away nothing would be 2. So it would be 2,016 little flowers. And for the last one, this is one that tricks loads and loads of people. They start doing 10% times 9, 1% times 9, adding it together. Well, why don't we just do 100% and take away 1%? So 100% is 8,400 and we're going to take away, oh, might run out of room here. We're going to take away 84. Well, can't do zero take away four, so I need to rename. Can't do zero, there's nothing to rename here, so we've got all the way over here. So this becomes three, this becomes 10, this becomes nine, that becomes 10. 10 take away four would be six, I have to write it right over here because I'm out of room on my board. Nine tens take away eight tens is one ten. Three tens take away nothing is three, and eight thousands take away nothing is eight. So it'd be 8,316 flowers. Well done, that is a little bit tricky, but hopefully you gave it a really good go. So next one then is Hegarty and it's number 84. So have a go at Hegarty number 84. 